Hello YouTube, Patrick here and this is my channel 1984. Today we're gonna take a, take a look at a mod called Action Quake 2 and we're gonna take a look at Quake 2. Here I have the source code for Quake 2, slightly modify one though. I just compile out uh, a slightly modified version of Quake 2 here. So uh, what I want to show you here is Action Quake 2. So I got Ordinary Quake 2 here loading up the mod. This is a precursor or it came out before Counter-Strike. The developers of Action Quake 2 actually developed uh, Counter-Strike later. I'm gonna connect it to a test server that runs sheets enabled so we can easily test stuff out. And I can give all, so we get all the weapons. Uh, we can shoot a little bit here. And we have burst. We can toggle. Every weapon has a toggle function. And then we can reload. And this is a dust map, so it's uh, ported back from Counter-Strike. I'm gonna take up a sniper rifle here. Let's see here. I can zoom in and shoot. And we got different level of sensitivity as we zoom in. And uh, I'm just gonna break my legs here quite clearly. So we can do, uh, let's see here. Bind, be bandage. I don't remember. So we can fix our broken leg here. That's why we're stuttering now. Now takes six seconds and there we heal our leg. And you can also bleed out if you get shot and don't bandage. So, the thing is, this mod has a few issues. First off, like the zoom is a function of the mod. And uh, since this is, is a mod for Quake 2, Quake 2 only has a sensitive, sensitivity. Yeah. Sensitivity. Yeah. As you can see, we have one value that is set to 3, that's our mouse. We can go to option menu, set it to here, mouse speed, it's called originally. Quake 2, we can set it up for example. And now my mouse is hyperactive. Oh. We can check that, it's 6.5. Now if I zoom in, it goes down, and it goes down even more, and then I'm out again. Now the thing is, if I go back here and check, it's 3 again. And that's because this mod, the way you start it is you st tell Quake 2 to load a mod and load a, a CFG for the for the mod called action.cfg. And it has hard-coded sensitivity right now for 3x when we zoom it out like this and then one and a half there and 0.66 for 4x. So as you cycle through it uses something called alias. So you can string things together. For example, the uh, zoom. So you can set alias. Uh, you're gonna call alias something. So in this case, called 2x. So alias 2x, no. and that's gonna execute the 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 toggle for the weapon function. It's called we weapon mode or something. And then it's gonna set uh, run sensitivity. Set that to 1.5 in this case, and so on. I run a few different commands. So alias is used to string together commands to. You can call it, it's like a macro kind of thing. The problem is, like I said, you can't set, uh, like you have to set, make a config file with all these things. So for example, like I said, we have bandage and so on. And there's in Quake 2 here, none of these functions are binded to like band-aid, re reload and so on. So we're gonna look at a config file for this particular game we just ran here. That's wrong. Let's go here. I'm just gonna go to the right Quake 2 folder, switch this one, and we're going to the action folder. Then we got action.cfg. So here's this config file, and it's generated by a program that uh, someone called Bjorn wrote. It's a friend of ours. And um, basically, it was a program where you can set your key bindings for Action Quake 2 and your sensitivity levels for different zoom levels. And then it writes this config, and you can edit the Action Quake 2 mod and tell the game to load it. So, 
we're gonna look here then. We can ignore some stuff here, but we're gonna look here. Sensitivity 3, so let's set when you start the game to 3. If you run his configuration tool, you can set whatever you want. And it's also gonna be set down here, sensitivity 3, so whatever you want. The thing is here, I have reset sense here, and that, that calls this alias here, alias reset sense. And it executes sensitivity 3, and alias 2 comes next. So it, next time we push the button here, we're gonna go to push the button for Sue, which is over here. We're gonna run alias 2, go weapon here. Let's see, weapon there, which is the function, the toggle function for weapon mode. And with the sniper, it's Sue. With like a, the M4 or the MP5s, you toggle between like semi burst auto. And then we've got some weight states here in between, we can ignore. And then we've got here sensitivity 1.5. So it basically updates sensitivity from 3 to 1.5, and then it, goes, it just types out echo 2 on the, on the screen here. And after that, alias 2, alias zoom 4x comes, and it's here. Then we've got the weapon again, so it toggles one more, we get into 4x zoom. So it's sensitivity to 0.66, and then it echoes out it on the screen. And after that is 1x, because there, there is a 6 inch zoom, but he, he, it's not in this particular config file. That's why we see weapon twice here. You see here, weapon after weapon. Uh, so it skips six, which would be here. If we remove one of these, it would be here. And then it goes reset sense, which is this one here. And that goes one, which means it runs this one here. And sets so back sensitivity three. So this is kind of a loop. loop. So in my case, I think uh, I bound, bounded zoom to mouse two. So we can toggle through this like two x, four x, one x over and over again. Problem with this is if you want to change the sensitivity, like for 1x, your normal one, you have to go in and edit 3 to something else, and also here. And the same goes for all the zoom levels. So you have to ed edit this value here, 1.5 to whatever you want. You have to, have to edit this one for the 4x zoom to whatever you want. And it's a bit cumbersome. And especially if you don't have a configuration tool or any know-how how to write a config file like this. It's even more of a pain. So that isn't uncommon that people rage quit this game because of it, because they get frustrated with the key bindings. And also down here, we've got all our key bindings for different things, uh, like for moving, we've got moving here, jumping and stuff. And then we got the more important stuff like that you can't set in the actual game, like R reload, there's no reload option in Quake 2. There's no reload, it's like Doom. And we've got our zoom function here, uh, got the uh, bandage on E here, for example. Open door, drop weapon, and so on. And here we got our weapon keys. It's binded to one, two, three G in this particular config. And we've got Q, which is us, which which runs use special, which basically cycles through the primary weapons. So you can have like usually when you play just like Counter Strike, you, you pick a weapon like an AK or an M4 or a sniper or something. In this game we have the Colt, we've got the MP5, the sniper, shotgun. That's the common ones. So that's use special. So yeah, you you can use Bjorn's configuration tool that he wrote, or you can write a config file like this like by yourself and the R's the game, the mod user comes with configuration files like this, but it's always a, like everyone wants their own sensitivity for their system mouse. They want their own key bindings, means you have to tell them how to edit these files, and that's really a pain in the butt. So I wanted to incorporate all of this into the actual Quake 2 game client, and lucky for us, Quake 2 is open source these days, and been for some time. So I actually have Quake 2 source code up here modified already and I happened to just fix a bug before so let's see where am I yeah I had a bug where I forgot to add uh, to the menu so it can actually load in the values for uh, different sensitivities because I, I, what I wanted to do was add the key bindings for the like bandage repair uh, repair <laughs> reload bandage reload and so on to the actual game menu so you can bind those in the game I also wanted to add sliders not just for the do all I had one for this for mouse, you always have, but I wanted to add one for 2x zoom, 4x zoom, 6x zoom. And I also wanted to add a variable so it can remember what the sensitivity was before you zoomed in. The problem right now, the reason you have hard coded values in the config is that Quake 2 originally had no weapon with zoom, there's no concept of zoom really. 
so it has no way like if you set this sensitive to something else the game won't remember what you had before so i also added a variable for that i just call it user underscore sense it's it's uh, basically when you set in the menu the sensitivity the standard one it writes to both sensitivity and user underscore sense that way it can load any of these t three here sensitivity 2 is 2x so sensitivity is 4x so and sensitivity 4 is 6x so and then it has the user sense so you can load for any of those into sensitivity so the nice thing now is we can actually still have a script like the one i showed you uh, see where it is mm -hmm. Uh, did I forget? Yeah, we can still have a script like this, but instead of having, you know, sensitivity on all of these, like sensitivity there, 1.5, uh, sensitivity here, or here, 1, 0 0.6. Instead of having that, we can have here. We can call it sensitivity two, call that sensitivity three, and so on. Uh, so we can have so instead of changing the sensitivity having static values we can just tell it to use to use the a new cvar this these commands you can execute them in the console in quake 2 they called cvars so let's uh, start action quake 2 here a bit quickly here i got it somewhere action i got it in front of me by now so this is the version of action quake 2 uh, i'm gonna increase the resolution here so we can see And also made a new enter for it, which I'm going to show later. So let's go to options. And this is the option menu now I have recreated. Actually, so here is your normal mouse sensitivity. It's called mouse speed in Quake 2. Really. So you can set that as usual. Then you've got 2x, 4x, and 6x zoom sense. So we can do like this. I'm just going to move this up a bit. So bottom corner down here, sensitivity. There's our ordinary one. We also have your user underscore sense, also 3x, because they should be the same. And you should all, if you set from console, you should set the user sense first, at least, or both of them, but at least I want. Then we've got 2, it's set to 0.5, got 3, it's 0.4, and 4 is 0.3. So now we can go to option menu here. We can change, for example, this one, increase that one, we increase, we increase them all. Now we can go through them again and shake. So we can go sensitivity is now six, two. Yeah, we can also shake the user sense here. It's also six. And then we can shake two, three, and four. As soon as you can see, they have all been changed now. And like I said, the way the game works is that um, if we quit this and now open a new config file that I wrote because it still needs a config file, uh, the new version of uh, Quake 2 that I put together. So I'm gonna open this action CFK here. It's slightly different, but uh, we have like we don't have any like uh, sensitivity here in the beginning. What we do have though is this set sensitivity uses sense. What the, 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 the dollar sign basically says this C bar here uses sense, copy that to sensitivity. And the reason is is to make sure that we have what the user set before, just in case we quit the game in say when the sniper is zoomed in and we quit the game, then the sensitivity here is gonna be whatever that zoom level demanded. So when so we start the game fresh, we want to make sure the sensitivity is what you expect. So that's the only thing it does that instead of uh, having a fixed sensitivity there, you can actually load back the, what the user set before. Also, here is the equivalent of uh, what I showed in another config file. We can take that up, this part here. So, what this does here, we've got the reset sense just like before here. So, reset sensitivity, and then this is called. And here we can also see that user sense over here, if I can mark it up with the dollar sign there, is copied into sensitivity. So, when we reset, we load this back into here and then alias 2 here is called here so next time we use the zoom function over there that we can bind to any key i bound my zoom to mouse 2 
it runs weapon here, which tells the weapon that we want to toggle this weapon function. It runs a few wait states because there's an actual delay on the first zoom level, probably by design in the game. So you can't flick shot, I suppose. Uh, then we've got set sensitivity dollar sign sensitivity two. Basically means copy sensitivity two, the CVR the value of that into sensitivity. Then it does a few things. It just basically tells the user that it's zoomed and so on, and, and it prepares to go to zoom. 4x the alias here. Alias is like, can almost look at it as a macro, you can put two string together commands. So we put alias 4x here then, and then this is going to be executed here. So it toggles the weapon mode once again. So this weapon has technically four modes, the 1x zoom, 2x, 4x, and 6x. Then it runs sensitivity, well it runs, it copies sensitivity 3 to sensitivity. And then it echoes like we have 4x zoom, you know, it prepares to next time it's gonna be ala 6x. Next time we toggle the weapon function, or the feature, uh, weapon uh, mode. So 6x here, we're gonna we're gonna run the toggle the weapon function here again, weapon mode. And we've got sen sensitivity here. It's gonna be set to sensitive the value of sensitivity four here, and we're gonna echo 6x. And after that, we want to go back again to 1x zoom. So the, it's, it's like you toggle through uh, 1x, 2x, 4x, 6x. So yeah, so we come back here again to uh, 1x here. And it goes weapon. And when we go to weapon, we zoomed out again. So it goes 1. It also runs a reset sense, which is here. And the reset sense is here. And that basically tells it to run this line here, which says set sensitivity once again to user sense. So this is how it works. So unlike Quake 2, where we only have sensitivity, CVAR, now we have 2, 3, and 4 also. So 2, 2, two 3, and 4, and user sense as a backup for sensitivity. Then there are a few other things here, like I mentioned, but they are really not important right now. Though this is kind of nice. This is just, they just added our service so people can easily join them from the client without knowing the address. We can close this now and start Action Quick 2 again. Let's see here, options. So, yeah, so as you can see, I can set that to something. I'm gonna lower that because that's way too high. I'm gonna set these to something nice that works for me. And we can go to customize controls there. And as you can see, we have nice key bindings here with zoom. Mouse to reload R, bandage B, and so on. So we got we replaced all the old Quake stuff that isn't relevant for us, and replace it with relatives rele, rele, relevant stuff for Action Quake. So now we can go like um, we can connect here to our test server. Connect 10.0.215. Well, that's not a dot. 0.215. Uh, let's see if there's a port I had it on. 27920, I think. So, really good to run a test server. Uh, we can now enable sheets and give all. Uh, let's see here. I'm just going to bring up the sniper, I figure. So, yep. So now we have 2x, 4x, and 6x. And, uh, we got different senses for it. So we can uh, change the sense for anything we want. So we can go hyper on six, just, I don't know why I would, but we can do that just for fun. So let's see here. And now it's bonkers. <laughs> but as you can see, we can change it in game now, which is really nice. We can go really, really low if we want to. We can go, let's do that, just for fun. It's gonna double shake. Yeah, makes sense. Let me out. Oh, there's uh, one zoom, two zoom, and it's pretty active now. 4x is good. 6x is really, really tight now. And we can check them here. I'm just gonna zoom out. Sensitivity is four. We can set uh, uh, check two is two and a half, three is one, four is zero to five. So we can set these to whatever we want. So Hello. say we want to set sensitivity two to one, we can do that like so. 
Now it's lower. We can set it even lower. We can set it to 0 0.1, for example. Should we go? Also, I forgot. Even if I set it, I actually have to toggle, toggle to it because it copies over to sensitivity every time we run the button. So let's check that again. Is it? Yeah, it is 0.1. Now it's really, really slow. Like, I wouldn't want to play like this, but some people might. And you can see here it's changed here in the menus too. So yeah, th this is uh, what I have been working on. There's a lot of things that I have made a lot of changes to the code. Like relatively speaking, I can't program. I'm not a developer at all. I just uh, figured I'd give it a shot because it seems like fun and uh, yeah, the the mod is problematic to use and get people to use it. Uh, the game has potential, but uh, the 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 the, the, uh, the problem is to get people to actually configure the game properly. And now everything can be changed in game to whatever you want. So I'm gonna lower this again. Kind of prefer it quite low. Uh, I just want to show that a bit of the code here. So here we have the CVAR. A CVAR in Quake uh, 1, 2, and 3 is, uh, is like what you can type in the console. Uh, so like sensitivity or FOV for field of view. And any of those variables is a CVAR. So I have added sensitivity 2, 3, and 4. Uh, I also have removed like single player menus and uh, start uh, Quake 2 multiplayer and stuff. We don't need that, so I removed a lot of uh, some of the menus. The, here are the key bindings. So the green is commented out, so that won't be used. So I commented out a lot of the old ones here, the legacy that no one uses anymore. Like uh, look up and down with the page up and down key like no one uses that so it's all updated to make sure we have was the hack enabled instead by default and I added uh, let's see here zoom for the sniper uh, reload for the for the weapons obviously uh, actually what they call it menus over here on this right side here and here are the different C bars being called and stuff like that so We've got bandage, open door, uh, drop weapon, drop item, primary weapon, which uh, toggles depending on, just like in Counter Strike, you can have usually one weapon, so you pick one when you play team. So you can push uh, whatever key you bind as your primary. We've got, we can have dual pistols too. Uh, yeah, so this is the menu, the code for the menu is updated. Uh, yep. Let's scroll down here a bit. There's a lot of the menus like sliders and where things go in the menu. Sliders and options and stuff to toggle. Here we got the here up to the, the menu. So I think if you look here, uh, here is the sensitivity slider. It, it technically goes on top, so first here, but it doesn't matter. And here are the menu sliders for uh, 2, 3, and 4. And it is, if we go down even more, I think we could find that. Here is the actual is for ordinary sensitivity. And uh, when that when when you change the sensitivity on the on the slider in the option menu for the normal sensitivity, it also updates user sense, so those get synced. So they they're basically the same. So we can copy this this value later to here whenever we go from one of these. So sensitivity two, three, and four, and use the sense is getting copied to sensitivity whenever we, whenever we change zoom mode. That's how it works. So so basically this has been added to make this all work. And here also, this is just for the menus. So it actually, like when you start a game, it loads in the settings. You can see where what you set last time and so on. So this is uh, 
and there's the multiplier so for the for, for the menu there's a lot of multipliers dividers for, for for the scale just to give you a good representation of what you're setting so yeah i've changed a few files up here and i've been editing and changing so another thing i want to take a look at real uh, is uh, I made a new in intro video, so if you start Action Quake 2 real fast here, uh, let's see where is it? Action Quake 2. Nope. Yeah. Let's see if I start this one. Camera. Action. We have a new intro, and uh, one reason for that is I based this off the demo and the official 3.20 patch, which then I recompile the binaries for and so on. So I stripped out like the single play like from the minutes and stuff and from the pack files like irrelevant stuff so it's a very stripped down version of the quake 2 demo just to get the the, the game working and i did the, the intro isn't a part of that and it seems to be a bit glitchy the game if i didn't have an intro so i i wanted a new intro and why not have one assist no action quake 2 so to create that you have to obviously somehow encode that video into that format, and that was uh, a little bit, bit of work. Basically, you need to find this problem co program called QData. It was apparently released together with Quake 2 Source. So I managed to track it down, plus I have a source now, so I can also compile it. I already done that. But this is the original one. And basically what you can do if you go in here, you can create like a project. You have to script everything, but uh, actually Quake 2 intro. You have to create a series of PCX files. It's an old file format for images. Usually not supported anymore by a lot of software, but this is a black image because that's how the intro start. But uh, we can see, we can open some. Open. Everything is installed in Swedish apparently for because Windows loves that. A lot of images are identical, but you can see a load, load scene here on the side. I'm going to move this. You can almost see the animation going. So basically what I did, I took, uh, it was a logo of Action Quake 2 on the internet, or Wikipedia or something. I took that and then basically cut out the text up in the low part and then frame by frame moved them in. So this is how we basically encode it. You have to create a series of PCX files. So let's close this now. You can see if we can close all of them. Just close. Yeah, this is a virtual machine running Windows XP. Not the fastest. So yeah, let's close GIMP here. So you have to have a set of PCX files starting from usually from 00. zero. And you can also add a sound file, which I have done. I combined the uh, Two of two of the three sounds for Action Quake. Uh, he says, uh, I think it's light camera action, but uh, I I just used the camera and action because of the Action Quake two coming in like that. So you have to have us. You can make a P WAV file, the same length as this the video gonna be. So it's 14 frames per second. So it's gonna be zero zero to zero thirteen is the first second. So I, I don't remember it's like four second long or something or five. So that needs to be a same length exactly otherwise this won't work and then we can go into here i think you need to create something called a qdt file so we can open the qdt file and then uh, you basically have to type this video and the directory of the where the files are and how many uh, like uh, like now uh, not numbers like digits you have in your file name so three in this case i think it is and let's check and do, yeah three so we've got zero 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 and uh, the, they need to be named the same thing so aq2 underscore intro and then the number dot p6 and uh, then they need to go into a folder called that aq2 in, underscore intro and like i said then you create this one with the same name so you you're getting the idea here and then you can create a bat file you don't have to you can just type it in the command but i did that anyway so let's open and edit this so you basically run uh, this is the wrong one this is for my other movie ma2 uh, edit q q data and aq2 intro that then it uh, basically knows to take the information out of that one and then it can find the files 
And we got uh, this one here. We can delete that one. Yes. And we can uh, basically run this uh, encode here. Uh, so now we have encoded the video. We got uh, the file here again. It's a color scene file, and it's the, the format is uh, 320 by 240, 256 colors, and 14 fps. And uh, yeah, the format is uh, a Kodak format, so it's really old and quite odd. So encoding it, the reading it wasn't that obvious. So we can go into action here. I put a video folder in here. And here we got our video file. ED logo sin to replace the original one. So we can have something that isn't, well, I don't want something that's copyrighted. So yeah. So when we run Quake 2 here, we get the intro. Camera, action. And we got a second one there. So yeah, that's how I did, did the video for the intro. Then uh, we got some, we had to do some uh, UI changes too. So basically here in pictures, I made a replacement pictures for the menus and stuff. So we can, uh, can open something here. Options, for example, here. Here is the option, the, the, the graphics for the option. The menu. So, and I had a bug that I tracked down basically when I because this is transparent, this, this looks like almost pinkish. But in the corner here, I got black dots. Uh, if I did, I didn't have any pixels far enough out on the edges, the game would crash. Uh, it was really weird. So, a bit of a hack. So, you can see it sometimes if you look out, like up in the sky and bring down the menu, but uh, well. It's a compromise. So it's uh, done graphics replacement. I have re done some coding to the actual game and made some new assets like uh, the video intro and so on. I also actually done a mod just for fun. We can actually have a look at that. Let's see where is my mod. I think it is AK. Let's take. Uh, where is it? Yeah, so I made uh, that's a whole different story, but I actually made like a custom weapon for Action Quake to replace the cult. It's, it's, it's a reskin basically. But working with a real old file format was a real pain, I can just say that. It took a long time to get around a lot of bugs. Let's open Action Quake here. Base, nope. Action. And we can put this pack nine here in there just for fun and we can start the game and we can multiply join we can join our test server here as you can see here are the also the our service that i added to the config file before it's very permanent and we can give all and we can take up my swedish ak5 now this is software rendering because I'm running a VM with no 3D graphics. So But yeah, basically. Looks a bit weird in this resolution though. I wonder what that's about. Let's try that. Let's see if I can actually start that in uh, I do have a Linux version of Quake 2 game Quake 2 uh, multiplayer is there any server let's see ah D does this nice uh, video is a bit screwed because I run higher resolution on my monitor usually, but I want the 1080 for YouTube, so let's fix that issue slightly. So nice. So this is not modded client, but I added my weapon here just for fun. So this is roughly 
actually looks better in the real Quake 2 and I think it's a lot softer image. Anyway. And this is the reason why I want my own client, because here i back to the same problem as before. I can't set anything in the menus. Out of ammo? Don't we have any ammo? Well, yeah, we're back to, you know, the problem again. I think there should be a mag somewhere here. Anyways. Anyways, this is what I have been up to the last two plus weeks. I'm uh, working on my Action Quake 2 client, which is, well, almost done. I removed a couple of bugs today. So it's, it's, it's working. So yeah, thank you for watching. And uh, there, there are uh, links to our Discord and uh, Facebook page and so on in the description. And if you want to join our Discord, I suggest uh, if you have problems joining with the link, try to type it manually because I, I have issues like at least in Firefox where the when I copy the link from YouTube it doesn't work, but the actual but if I copy the link in, from Discord it works, so it's, it gets corrupted somehow. It's super weird. So yeah, and then uh, you can join us, and we're gonna be playing this at some point. So then you can join us and try. Action Quick 2 out, and if you want to use this client, you can do so. I might post a link to the client below once I have a stable enough version that I'm happy with. And right now, it's still I'm still ironing out some bugs from every day. So yeah, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.